What's up YouTube? It is your boy JB and I am here today with a review for Marriage Bootcamp Hip Hop Edition. This is, I don't know what season this is, but I know this is episode number 10 and it's titled Vow or Never. So you guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and just jump into this episode review, shall we? All right, you guys, so you remember last week's episode, it left off with um, Nasal He, Nostradamus, Hoozle E, Toucan Sam, Miss Foul, Birdie E. You remember, she went into the room where the medics were with Davon, and, you know, she was asking him, was that, you know, blood on his pants? And it took for Phaser to come in there and tell her, girl, that is not blood, that is vomit. I was like, girl, how dumb. How dumb can you be? Speaking of her, have you guys saw that uh, that trailer for the conversation with she and Masika? They could have kept that. I know I, I'm good on it. I am so good on Kazel and Masika. That beef is old and stale and dried up. Like they can really keep it with those two. And then the fact that he's on social media going after the makeup artist because so the makeup artist is saying that she didn't pay her because she liked a picture of Masika's makeup. Like, girl, that is so petty. Because your makeup artist likes somebody else's work. You gonna say, let me not pay this woman? Yeah, you. I don't really feel bad for her at all. Like, how do how do you do that? Somebody does some work for you, but because they like somebody else's shit, you don't pay them fuck out of here so we see them the next day they wake up and it is the day you know where they get the results of the lie detector test let's move on to that all right you guys so this review actually might not be long because this episode wasn't i mean it wasn't a lot to this episode um so the boot campers they all go to the boot camp room judge toller is there and she's going to you know tell who tell who all <sighs> Excuse me, y'all. So she's gonna tell who all passed their lie detector test and who had deception. Remember, three people were deceptive. So first up was Willie and Shonda, and you guys remember um, Willie's question for Shonda was, "Can she forgive him for all the infidelities?" And her question was, "Does Willie plan to be faithful to Shonda going forward?" So, when it came to Willie, he answered, yes, he does want to be faithful to Shonda going forward. And the lie detector test proved there was no deception with him. And then with Shonda's question, they didn't actually tell him what, you know, Shonda's results were. She said yes, that she could, you know, forgive him for the infidelities. But Judge Toller gives Willie a red envelope. And he, he, he immediately, he was ready to open it. And just Justolo said, hold on to it, you know, hold on to that. And so, you know, they're doing that as in, a, in a bit of suspense. So then next up was Phaedra and Medina. So you guys remember both questions for Phaedra. Actually, Phaedra and Medina's questions were the same. Do they want a sexual relationship with the other? Medina said yes, he wants a sexual relationship with Phaedra. Lie detector test determined that that was the truth. He was not deceptive. Phaedra, do you want to have a sexual relationship with Medina? She said no. No deception was indicated. Which that does not shock me, does not surprise me. I didn't go, oh, I didn't do none of that. I, I expected that. So then next up we had Tahiri. There's a bug in here. You will die in a few minutes. So next, like I said, Tahir is next. And remember, her question was, does she accept you know, physical violence as part of her relationships? Now, Tahir's answer was no, but with lie detector tests, it shows that she was deceptive. Okay? And then we had Davon last. And his question was, was he with Hazel E.? Basically, for a come up, he said no. Lie detector test determined that there was deception detected in that one. So, 
we know two of the three people who were deceptive. Davon Tahiri. So the other one is between um what's his name? Vado and um and um Shonda. Now, Birdie E, Toucan Sam, Hazel E, well Birdie E, Toucan Sam, Nasal He, Nostril Domus, Hoozle E, um, you know, Miss Foul, Toucan Sam, all of them. She had a big meltdown because of Davon and this whole situation about him. Oh, I guess you I'm still stuck on what clout does she have? I know that she was a publicist, but what I mean, the only clout that you have at this point is reality TV. So I don't really know. I mean, once this show is over and done with, unless Mona calls y'all back, that's the only way he could be using you for clout is if you are trying to get, if he's trying to get back on love and hip hop with you. That's the only way. But, you know, she feels some type of way. I stopped paying attention at a certain point because I'm like, y'all are still together. So why is she doing this big hoopla? Y'all are together. You say that you're married to him. I don't know why you would marry him. You got a baby with him. So I was just kind of thrown for a loop. I didn't understand it. But, you know, it is what it is with those two. And I don't really care, to be quite honest with you. But, you know, she finally gets herself together. She said that she talked to her mama, and her mama told her, well, if if, if it's that case, if that's the case that he's using you for the, um, the come up, the clout, whatever, then make him sign a management contract. And I'm like, okay, cool. Why are we talking about this? I don't really care. Because <laughs> I'm just like, they're still together. So this is... The same thing for Willie and Shonda, because Willie and Shonda just had another baby. So I'm just like, okay, what the hell? We know that those two couples are together. Now, Phaedra and Medina and Vado and Tahiri, they're fake couples. But let's move on. All right, you guys, and then lastly, the ring ceremony. So, Willie and Shonda were the first two up. This is going to be quick as well, too. So, Willie and Shonda, like I said, they the first two up. Ow, shit. That... And Willie gave Shonda a ring. Like I said, you know, the Willie and Shonda are just still together. Had a whole baby. Hazel and Davon, they're next. They're still... Hey, Davon gave her a ring. She gave him a ring. But she also gave him a contract to sign. And... Um, in the contract, you know, it's a management contract where she go get thirty. If he leaves her, she'll get thirty percent. I'm sitting there thinking to myself, thirty percent of what? What will you get thirty percent of his bookings? Because now I'm pretty sure he can go. You know, shit. Not even right. Not even at this point, can he go on a on a, on a, um a booking like for club appearances? Because the clubs are. I mean, they might be open, but not like that. So. What is she getting 30% of? It was the question that I really, really had. What the fuck is she getting 30% of? Booking deals. What, like them Instagram ads that they, you know, these um, reality TV stars do. Like, what are you getting 30% of? What are you getting 30% of, Hazel? That's all I need to know. Well, I don't, I don't need to know. I really don't need to know. It's just a question that I just had. What is she getting 30% of? But Okay. Phaedra and Medina are next. I'm just like, oh, God, why do we have to deal with these two? Phaedra and Medina. This video is going to be short. Because this episode, I mean, it wasn't, it was just pretty anticlimactic to me, to be quite honest with you. But Phaedra and Medina, um, Phaedra surprisingly had a ring for Medina. And I'm like, really? Really? You got a ring for this man? A man that you, now I'm not stuck on the, Medina was stuck on the fact that Phaedra said in her lie detector test that she did not want to have sex with him. But, I mean, she told the truth, so it's not like she lied. And a relationship is not all about sex. But, for Phaedra, for Phaedra, it just, it comes off disingenuous to me. 
That's just how I take it and how I feel. And then, you know, Medina did not present her a ring. But when Medina saw that she had a ring from him, he, you know, he said, time out. He said, I have my, he had it kind of like what, um, what, um, Michelle did last season when she had her ring and when Stu presented her a ring, but she didn't have a ring, but she had it in her bra. Well, he had the ring on him and he says, that at this point they can take things slow and become friends and build. I'm like, y'all ain't building on shit, but a fraud. So then lastly, Tahiri and Vado. So I didn't agree with a lot of things. I mean, I understood why they did. Uh, I understood why they didn't have Vado in the house. But after a while, it felt like they were treating Vado like the red-headed stepchild to me. You know, they didn't even, the man didn't even get to dress up for the final day. Um, now, I didn't expect for him and Tahiri to give each other rings or anything. But, you know, they let they allowed Tahiri to talk and get her point across. I'm like, okay, that's cool. How do I want to say this? Because, I mean, and, and I've said this before, what Bado did to Tahiri, he was wrong 100%. I'm not defending what Bado did. But Tahiri, however, now I know that they said that they had a conversation. I'm not even tripping off the fact that they said they had a conversation with Tahiri about throwing the apples. The thing is, yes, Bado owed her an apology 100%. But Tahiri also owed him an apology for throwing them fucking apples at him. And again, I'm not, like I said, I'm not defending what he did. By no means, don't take it that I'm defending him because I'm not. My problem just lies with the fact that she threw, she was allowed to throw apples at him. Uh, they say that they talked to her about that. But y'all yeah, don't think he's owed an apology as well? Like domestic abuse can be on both sides and that's a, that's the problem that I do have that's the one problem that I do have a, a woman can abuse a man just as easily as a man can abuse a woman so you know it kind of for me it kind of makes it okay that she th it, it feels like they're saying it's okay that she threw an apple at him which is not okay that she did that by no means and it's not okay what he did, you know, grabbing her and choke, you know, grabbing her up. So it's not okay on both ends. But why hold one person to the to the fire and not the other other person? It it, it just kind of bothers me in that light. But again, like I said, I'm not sitting here defending what Vado did because what Vado did was 100% wrong as fuck. Ooh, excuse me, y'all. And then Votto, you know, he felt some type of way about, you know, he was like, so y'all just brought me here for this? I mean, I'm I'm okay with them having her, you know, say what she felt and needed, you know, need to get out there. I'm okay, I'm cool with that. I don't have no issues with that. It's just the fact that, damn, y'all don't feel that she owed this man an apology. She threw two apples at his face. Two apples. What if his teeth got knocked out? Like, but you know, it is what it is. They not together, and thank God for that. <laughs> Wish they were a fake couple in the first place, but that's neither here nor there. But that is gonna wrap it up for this season of Marriage Boot Camp Hip Hop Edition. Um, I don't know when it'll return. But you guys be sure to like this video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification button so you guys are aware of when I drop anything else, share this video, and until the next one, you guys do me a solid. Stay safe out there, take care of yourselves, stay hydrated, and I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, you guys, bye.